Well, I just wanted to come up and say this is part of my life, you know. It's been 70 years since Milton Rayburn found himself, a 19-year-old from Midfield, Alabama, <laughs> building roads through the Burmese jungle. But for this now 90-year-old World War II veteran, the memories are still as clear as those long-ago orders from Uncle Sam. Wasn't no cakewalk by a long shot, but it was better than being over in Europe. Here in the peace of the Alabama Veterans Memorial, blue skies overhead, Rayburn reminisces and remembers. You never get over uh, going into war because war is hell and there ain't no way you can get around it. After going through it, it upsets Rayburn to see the memorials in D.C. closed. It makes your blood run cold, you know. It makes you think, what, what did we fight for this country for if we can't do what we want to? A sentiment shared by George Winslow. Winslow served in the Army, his son in the Marines. We're patriots. He was brought up to be a patriot. We believe people ought to serve. But Ryan Winslow did more than just serve. He died for his country. The 19-year-old from Hoover gave his life while serving as part of an elite unit in Iraq. They hit a roadside bomb, and he and his two uh, brothers, uh, Corporal Pablo Mayorga and Lance Corporal, Derek Cothran were all three killed instantly. So that was April 15th of 06. Since then, there have been nearly 5,000 service members killed in Iraq and Afghanistan, including five last weekend. Their families denied death benefits because of the government shutdown. I'm an educated, articulate man, but I cannot come up with the words to describe how that makes me feel. With no end in sight to the crisis in Washington, Rayburn, a member of the greatest generation, has this simple advice for the next. Love your country. Love God and be patriotic.